we should not put our trust and what we believe in popular teachers or teachings. And the reason why is because Jesus said when he left, I will give you the Holy Spirit of truth that will lead you into all truth. He will tell you of the things that were that Jesus said and also the things to come which are in the future. The Holy Spirit, Jesus said, will be our teacher, our tutor, and he will tell us of the things to come. Everything that is to come. If we need to know it. We're on a need to know basis. And if the Holy Spirit wants to convict us of sin, He will do it immediately. If He wants to tell us we are righteous, He does that immediately. And He does it by speaking directly into our hearts. The Holy Spirit can do this. And the Holy Spirit does do this. I want to read you this verse though. And this verse is in Luke chapter 6, and Jesus speaks to um, these people, and he says, watch out. Listen to what he says. He says, woe to you when all men speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. This is why we should not listen to popular teachings or popular teachers. Jesus tells us this, and the reason why is because the truth is never popular. The, the truth of Jesus comes through the Holy Spirit, and what ends up happening when it doesn't come through the Holy Spirit is men fabricate it. They get their interpretation of the scripture, and they start um, principles out of the Bible off of these things, but they never heard from the Holy Spirit's truth. We should not be just trusting popular teachers. And, and another thing to think of is Jesus told us that any person who is proclaiming the truth will be persecuted. Let me read this to you. This is 2 Timothy um, chapter 3, verse 12. Um, um, it says this, All who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution, but evil men and impostors, they will grow worse and worse, and they will be deceived, and they will deceive many, and that is the truth. I mean, a lot of people are deceived, and they themselves are deceived, and what they share is not the true gospel about Jesus. They share a gospel about peace and safety, but not peace that comes from Jesus. It's peace from come, that comes from this world, and not safety that comes from knowing Jesus and listening to his Holy Spirit, but safety that comes in this false security of a false gospel. I mean, this false gospel will, will say you're safe and secure and on your way to heaven when you don't even know Jesus, when you haven't even heard him speak to you. Jesus says, um, his sheep, they hear his voice and they listen and they follow and they will not listen to a stranger at all. Do you know Jesus' voice? Do you hear him? Are you sure? I was sure. I was positive. I was safe and secure and going to heaven. I was sure that this book right here, I was positive that that was the word of God. And Jesus woke me up through the power of his spirit. And he spoke to me and he got my attention. And he said, repent, Andy, you have idols in your life and come to me and I will teach you. And that's what I did. And I want to encourage anyone who wants to know Jesus he is not found just in the Bible. He is found when you seek him on your knees with all your heart, and then he'll speak to you. Yes, Jesus is told about in the Bible, but as Jesus himself says, the Bible is the testimony about him. The Bible testifies about Jesus. We, as Christians, are not, uh, we were not led to know Jesus by the book. We are led to know Jesus more and more by the Spirit. We need to get to know, and we need to know the Jesus whom the Spirit of the living God teaches. And he will do that if you give up your idols and if you come to him.